this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on Pokemon Moon. I am here on Pony Island. I have just arrived on Pony Island at the uh, the beginning of the, the last episode, and it seems very different from the other islands. It seems to be... Yes, keep stomping around, blah, 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 blah. Yes, yes, I know. Uh, yeah, I kind of just want to bring the, the map up. Yeah, so it seems very different to the other islands. It seems to be basically like... um. It looks like there's not much here, to be honest. <laughs> looks like just a bunch of hills and things. So, uh, yeah, I'm hopefully going to be able to, to get some uh, some cool new islands. It does seem... Uh, a cool new Pokemon, sorry, on this uh, this island. It does seem to be like different types uh, of Pokemon on, on each different island. Kind of seems to be the... The, the way things are, are, are working here. So, um, yeah, let's uh, carry on the, the adventure. There was a, a lady standing over here who I want to, to speak to first. Let's just go and speak to everyone in the, the area before we keep going. The sea goes on forever. I want to swim on forever too. Okie dokie. Just <laughs> Sometimes I just don't know what to say when I just meet someone for the first time. Don't even say hello and they just say a sentence like that to me. Like, how are you supposed to respond? They build a village with boats. For them, the entire sea is their home. Well, I think the boat is the home. <laughs> like, that's like saying, I don't know, like you build your house on a road. The entire road is your home. I mean, I guess I know I know it, it can move, but still. It, but still. Anyway, I, I'm nitpicking here. Uh, yeah, let's uh, carry on heading forward. So uh, we need to, to try and find out where we... um need to, to go to do the, the first troll. Apparently there's a, a big house. and I keep forgetting that that's Lily. She just looks like a different person, doesn't she? I'll do my best to keep up, Stampy. I'll be fine. I've got Max Repels with me. And I've got you, too. Go. Oh, I'll look after you, Lily. Don't you worry about that. Right then, let's, let's go do some battling. Oh, wait a minute. Stop the presses. Stop the presses. There's something we need to, to do before we carry on. Something that I have been excitably looking forward to for a while. So I made the decision. The big decision. You may or may know, uh, not know what I'm talking about. I think you know what I'm talking about. Pikachu. I was on the fence about evolving Pikachu for a long time. Once I saw the, the Alolan Raichu, I, I kind of had the decision made for me. So I have gone and I got so much stuff still, don't I? I did do what I said at the end of the last episode, by the way. I did use up a bunch of things that I'd just been saving. But yeah, I got a Thunderstone. So you get this from kind of near the top of route, um, route 8 on one of the other islands. I can't remember its name. But yeah, I tracked down where to, to get it from. And by that, I mean I looked up a guide online. I found the Thunderstone. It's kind of hidden behind a trailer somewhere. Just Google it if you want to, to know. And yeah, I'm going to use it on my, my Pikachu. If it was only evolving to like a normal Raichu, I don't think I would do it. But seeing as it's the, the cool surfer Raichu, I had to. I had to, didn't I? And I think it's going to make it stronger as well. So there is there is that benefit. But mainly I'm doing it uh, just to, to make it look cool. This is exciting. I've had a Pokemon evolve in ages. And look at it. I think it might be even more adorable. Look at those eyes. Oh, it is a beautiful creature riding its tail. <laughs> there we go. Raichu's data will be added to the, the, the Pokedex. Pichu, Pikachu, and now... Oh, look at it. It looks like a toy. It just looks like a plushy toy, doesn't it? It doesn't look like a Pokemon. That doesn't like a, look like a creature that could exist and walk around. Um, it uses a psychotelekinesis to control electricity. It hops aboard its own tail, using psychic power to lift the tail and move about while riding it. I didn't know it could use psychic moves. Does this mean it can use psychic moves? There we go. There's the answer to my question. Raichu wants to learn the move Psychic. Ah, I guess that's what makes it different to a normal Raichu. Definitely worth um, definitely worth upgrading it then, wasn't it? Right, what should we get rid of to learn Psychic? Um, so Discharge is 80. And it doesn't say it causes... Uh, it may. And then this one's 90. I, I could get rid of Discharge. I could also get rid of Sweet Kiss. So that does cause confusion. It can actually be quite useful, though. Let's um, let's get rid of Sweet Kiss. Let, let's get rid of Sweet Kiss and let's use um, Psychic uh, instead. So there we go. Uh, I now have a, a Raichu that knows Psychic as well. Probably uh, worth the the upgrade. And uh, it is the 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 first Pokemon out in my group. Uh, so let's uh, let's go and try and get ourselves into a trainer battle then, and let's uh, get my new tail surfing Raichu uh, a chance to to yeah put it through its paces. And here we go. Here is its uh, its first ever battle. Uh, a Pokemon and trainer's feelings are stacked together. Try receive, uh, receiving the Unleashed Z power. Oh, is this one going to use some some Z moves? I really do need to use some leveling up. A lot of the, the, the big battles that I've been having recently, especially that one against um, Luzamine, um, Lily's mum and Gladian's mum, 
That was a really difficult battle, and I only just won that thing, so I need to, to, to do some good leveling up kind of in between now and whenever we get to our, our trial or whatever it is. Because look, this is a random person with a Garbador, whatever that is. It looks horrible, whatever it is. <laughs> and yeah, it's uh, it's pretty much the, the same level as most of my Pokemon, so that's not a... um. A really good sign for, for me, but I'm kind of in the the, the perfect situation now to, to do a whole bunch of leveling up. I don't use this Protect. Protect is so annoying, it doesn't help it or, like, I don't know, not help me if that makes any sense. It basically just makes it so that move might as well not have happened. And I don't know, there might be a, a few situations where it comes in useful, but mainly it's just annoying. What about Psychic then? What does what does Psychic even do? I should probably should have read that. Is it just like a, a damaging move? Yeah, I think it's just a damage. Oh, it was super effective. I don't know what it's effective against, because I don't know what that was, but <laughs> it was super effective. And Raichu leveled up to, to level 48 as well, almost at, a, at level uh, at level 50. I've got a few getting close to, to level 50. Right, well, Raichu seemed to do well in his first battle. Right, so let's uh, bring on the, the next Pokemon. And hello, Peekaboo! Ah, oh, that would be the perfect Pokemon to play Peekaboo with. Just going under its little whatever that is and just having its fringe pop up and going, Peekaboo! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> All right, is that going to be uh, good? There we go. Did loads of damage. I think they might be grass Pokemon, you know. Is that a grass Pokemon? Maybe that what's, uh, that's what Psy um, Psychic's good against. I should be able to finish this thing off with a, a Thunderbolt, though. So let's kind of save some of my Psychic moves for, for some of the, the other Pokemon we go up against. And uh, it looks like, uh, yeah, I'll be able to, to level up pretty quickly by the... Um, by the the looks of things so um if you haven't seen the the last few episodes by the way a lot of um a lot of things in the the story has been happening recently there's been a lot of developments uh, a lot of um revelations things that we've uh, we've found out and so um, i'm gonna go and speak about the story a little bit now so if you haven't seen the last few episodes i recommend watching them just to avoid spoilers but things have got kind of a little bit crazy recently haven't they to, to be honest i mean I mean, the big thing is finding out about Lily and Gladian, and that loser means their mom, and then that she's basically the big baddie. Like, I reckon she's going to end up being good. I reckon there's going to be a switch around at the end of the, the game, and... I don't know, Lily and Gladian are going to talk about the good old days when they were growing up, and she's going to go, oh, I'm so sorry, will you forgive me? Like, I reckon that's going to be happening. I don't think she's going to, to stay bad, but she was pretty horrible. And not like... Like, sometimes you get villains that... Like, you can see they're not necessarily trying to be bad, but, like, they're trying to do something and it's going to hurt other people. And I think this might be a case of that a little bit, but she was also just really mean to us. She was just, like, insulting us and, like, laughing at us and saying how horrible we are. Like, it isn't just, like, oh, she's trying to, to do something she thinks is good, but we don't. Like, she was just being nasty and there was no need for that. <laughs> I mean, try and bring as many Ultra Beasts to destroy the world as you want, but don't be mean about it. <laughs> so, yeah, it's going to take a lot for me to, to forgive her. Unless it turns out that she was secretly being controlled by something else and she had, I don't know, no control over her actions, then it's going to be really tough for me to, to forgive her at all. Even if the game expects me to, to forgive her, it's going to be uh, really difficult for, for me to, to do that. But I'm just speculating. I don't know. Maybe she's going to turn into an Ultra Beast. Maybe she was an Ultra Beast all along. Now, that would be a, a twist I wouldn't see coming. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going, by the way. I'm kind of just, I'm kind of just wondering. This is kind of the, the way I like to, to play Pokemon. I'm sure if I went and, and studied the, the map, it would tell me kind of a, a particular direction to, to head into. But I'm just kind of wandering about. Let's go, let's go east a little bit then. I was going to go up the, the coast, but it looks like there's, there's something down here. So let's go and have a little look uh, down this area. Oh no, this is where I was supposed to be going. <laughs> like, I thought I was going the wrong way. Like, I always try and do that in games. I always try and go the wrong way first, because I don't know. I don't know if you're the same, but I always want to see everything. So say if I'm exploring somewhere and I can either go left or right, I always guess where I'm supposed to go and then go the other way just to, to make sure I can see absolutely everything. <laughs> because I, I hate thinking like, oh, what if there was something cool down there and I missed it? But it's okay. Like the good thing about Pokemon is I kind of have, you know, once I've done all the, the main missions and done everything the, the game wants me to do. I can just wander around and go wherever I want uh, afterwards anyway, and that's uh, no worries. But yeah, uh, this is definitely where the the tell, the tell game is asking me to, to go down. But well, who's this guy? Is he like a chef or something? Hanging out here? He is a chef who's cooking a Pokemon. That's horrible. <laughs> Cook Phil is who I'm going to be battling. I don't know why there's a, a random chef hanging out here in the, the tall grass in the, the middle of the, the night. You can always tell when I'm recording late at night, by the way. Like, what you'll notice... 
if you go back and watch the the Pokemon episodes, like some episodes are more silly than in other episodes. And it's normally when I'm recording late at night. I don't know, like when I'm recording, like it's it's like half eleven p.m. right now as I'm recording this real time. And so, I don't know, I always be a little bit sillier when I'm playing late at night. And I don't know why, like, I get, like, a, an extra burst of energy just before I go to, to bed. And sometimes I'm just like, you know what? I want to play some Pokemon and record. And I always get a little bit sillier compared to when I record in the, the day. I don't know if that's a, a good or a bad thing for you. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I assume it must be better when I'm a little bit silly. It means I normally muck up on my words a little bit more and try and speak too fast and get tongue-tied or can't read what I'm supposed to, to be reading and stuff. But, <laughs> oh well. It's good fun, all of the all of the the same. Anyway, once again, I am rambling. Let's go and take out this I don't know, this little butterfly with a scarf on, because that's a that's a Pokemon that needed to be added to the, the Pokemon universe. And is it poisoning me? Oh don't poison me. Oh no, it's just my, my evasiveness fell. That's not really gonna help it very much, but uh one more hit and I should be able to, to take it out. Yeah, I mean I was feeling quite under under leveled, but I mean Raichu is just destroying everyone. I did give it some of those some of those things that make it basically better. You know, like all of those those items that I've been gathering up. So I did kind of increase some of its stats, but it's absolutely destroying right now, which is which is jolly good if you uh, if you ask me. But what's what's this place? Are these some like old ruins or something? Ancient Pony Port, is that what it said? <laughs> I think this is the the house. I think this is where Hapu is, I believe. It's good to see you again too, Mudstale. You look to be in fine form. <laughs> Wow, Pokemon trainers really do amaze me. It seems like a hard path to walk. Even so, you don't let yourself get held back by fear of seeing your Pokemon friends get hurt. You just keep striving forward together. Good observation. There we go, there's Hapu. Oh, it's been a while, Stampy. And you brought Lily along too. Yes, it's good to yes, it's good to see you, Hapu. <laughs> you look different. Like you're ready to go all out in something now. Um, thank you, Hapu. I finally discovered what I need to do. So this is my Z-powered form. Oh, then you do your best there, Lily. No one could call you Lily Livered. Oh, there's there's a an amazing pun there from Hapu. <laughs> Even worse than some of my puns. Um, so, Hapu, do you know where I can find the Kahuna? The Kahuna? Hmm, don't have one here on Pony. What? Now what do we do, Stampy? Hmm, well, I suppose time might be right now. I've already finished up my battle against the odd little thing that appeared out of the sky. All right, let us all proceed to the ruins. You stick with me, you two. <laughs> so what are we doing now? Stampy, we just have to keep going, right? But then again, you're a trainer, aren't you? I suppose you always keep moving forward. Wait there. I don't know what voice to do, because I don't know who said it. I still don't know who voice to do, because I don't know who that is. Eek! Um, I'm sorry. I don't think we've been introduced. <laughs> I'm Hapu's old gran. Are you two friends with my girl? <laughs> so she has friends now, does she? <laughs> Travelling around the islands, making new friends. You kids are luckier than you know. <laughs> if you want to head to the Pony Island ruins, how about of a bit of help from this old gran? Here, hand over your ride pager a moment. Machamp was registered to your ride, Pager. You need to move some big obstacles to make it down the path that you two hope to travel. I wish you both a bright future. <laughs> My Hapu was heading for the ruins of hope, wasn't she? You better go after her. First you'll come to Pony Breaker Coast. You'll know by the soil it's Black has a pitch. Go through there and you'll find the ruins. 
thank you very much, ma'am. You have been a great help. <laughs> the Ruins of Hope. That is where the Guardian of Poland Island will be. That is where the Tapufini lives. Come on, let's go, Stampy. Oh, well, she was a jolly old lady, wasn't she? And so I can ride Machamp now as well? He just, like, carries me in, like, two of his arms. <laughs> let's, uh, let's give that a go, then. So he can break, he can break away obstacles as well. And look at that! Look at the way I'm just, like, lounging in his arms. Now, that is the way to travel. If I ever knew a way to, to travel, this was it. So can I, like, can I punch or anything? I guess if there's just, like, a big ob obstacle, I can just charge through it. So let's have a wander around here for a bit first. I don't want to, I don't want to head off quite yet. Let's go and uh, look around here. We can do a little bit more, more battling, seen as, um... Well, it's a Pokemon game, isn't it? That's what you do in Pokemon games. You battle. That's what it's all about. <laughs> and uh, yeah, also we can see if there's any items around here or anything uh, anything secret uh, for, for us to discover. As I said just a second ago, I hate to, I hate to think that I left kind of something obvious or, you know, didn't discover a secret. And I know for a game like this, I'm not going to discover anything just, you know, by blasting through it the, the way I am. And oh! Ouchie, it's all super effective. All right, looks like... Uh, well, let's finish this thing off with, uh, with Raichu. And then uh, I think it's uh, about time we... Oh! Forget it, forget it. Raichu has been uh, has been taken out. Next Pokemon time, let's bring out let's bring out Zygrade. I'm sure uh, Zygrade should be uh, plenty uh, strong enough to to be able to to take out this uh, this Raticate. Uh, right then, let's. Uh, I guess I can kind of use anything at this point. I use Brick Break since it's super effective. Then again, I'm pretty much the the same level as it. I don't know if I need to um do a little bit more focus training on my on my Zygrade a little bit, you know, turning off the, the experience share, just to, just to bring it up a little bit closer to, to some of the, the other Pokemon. Alright, uh, once to learn Feather Dance, uh, the user covers its target's bodies with a mass, uh, lowers its attack. Uh, I'm never going to use it, am I, though? I'm, I'm sure I'm sure it's really useful. I'm never going to bother using that move. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to forget it. I don't need to know Feather Dance. It would have been cool to see it. But let's keep the the old moves, because I, I like I know like in my head I think ah that would make sense in this situation or something. But I know I I never use those moves. I'm just all about attack to be honest. That's that's my that's my strategy in Pokemon. Keep attacking until either I get taken out or I'm able to to take out the 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 other Pokemon. <laughs> I realize I'm not much faster getting carried around by this Machamp, but it's just really fun. I think I just want to be carried around like this. I just just it's a more relaxing way to, to travel being carried around by a giant um Machamp. But what's what's this place here? Well there's loads of Machamps around the place here. Cham cham and then I can go around there. Oh, there's a little secret door around the the back here. So what is this building then? This is where this is where um where Hapu came from, but I don't really know know what it is. Oh it's just the grad again. My Hapu was heading for the ruins of hope, wasn't she? Go after her. First she comes- Oh yeah, yeah, you've said this. You've said this to me. I've just followed her home, basically. <laughs> She's like, God, I just said goodbye to those people. They're eager. Oh, is this like the entire building I'm making my way for here? Why are there so many doors to this one? Look, are these all different entrances? Look, because I can enter there. And then there was here. Is this like, does this lead back outside again? Please tell me this doesn't lead outside. It does. Why, why does it need so- why does it need so many doors to this house? Like, how urgently do they need to leave the house all the time? Just like every wall you go to. Like, this has got to be a room inside. Surely this isn't another exit. There we go. This leads to, to something inside of here. And oh, a strange creeper was uh, creature was taken into the, the Zygrade. Uh, oh, Cena wants to talk to you. Bzz. I see that you have just collected another Zygrade core. Each of these core moves are memorized by the Zygrade cube, so you can use it to teach Zygrade moves as many times as you like. Everything is up to you. Uh, Bonner chance. Okie pokies. I do need to, to kind of go back and uh, see if there is anything I can do with my Zygrade thing. At one point I did completely understand how it worked, but since then I haven't I haven't done it in a while, so I can't exactly remember. But yeah, I can basically reorganize my Zygrades, and I might be able to get a different form. The thing is, I've kind of got attached to the, the Zygrade Pokemon I have right now, so I don't even know if I'd want to, to change its form. Mam mam. <laughs> Jolly good. Ah, I did see that there was a um some sort of item around here. Do you reckon I can do some farming there? Looks like there's a bunch of soil. Maybe I could uh, plant some berries uh, or something over there. There's a a random karate man standing in the the street. Here, oh, I found a shiny stone. I wonder what a shiny. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the the, the shiny stone. Then I wonder what that does. Is it going to be at the the bottom here? Here we go. A, a peculiar stone that can make certain species of Pokemon evolve. It shines with a dazzling light. That might be uh, uh, quite useful. So yeah, if you were looking for the, the the shiny stone, that's where it is. Right, what do you reckon the chances are this person's going to block me? Yep, random karate man. 
if you want to go into Vaz Pony Canyon, you'll need per permission from the Kahuna. No, I thought there isn't a Kahuna. We, ju we just had this conversation and they said there isn't a Kahuna, but now there is a Kahuna. I keep thinking it might be Hapu, you know. I can't, like, I don't know. I, don't, I keep thinking that like, she might secretly be a, a Kahuna. I don't know. Maybe not. I should probably start heading in that direction, though, to, to be honest. <laughs> I was told to, to follow it along the, the coast. By uh, judging by the, the map, uh, we don't need to, to head uh, along too far uh, in that direction to, to end up where we need to go. And, oh, how do I... How do I get that item? It's kind of like... Can I, can I break through the wall here? I don't know what Machamp can, uh, can break. Look, it's right... It's right there, and it's really annoying me, because I can nearly get it. But I just about can't. Maybe if I if I get off my champ, am I going to be able to to squeeze through here anyway? Or do you reckon if I go in the the water, I might be able to get it that way? Or like ah, maybe if I loop around down here, can I make aha? Then I can make my way up this way. So I think I think this is a TM as well. I think when they're this color, it's a TM. Yeah, frost breath. I might be able to um. To, to teach that to, to Squirmy, actually, because uh, Squirmy can, can learn a few ice moves. So, yeah, maybe maybe that would be a good one to, to get. I have, though, just realized, I've only just looked at the, the time, and, uh, yeah, this video's gone on for ages. I don't know why, but all of a sudden, it feels like as soon as I start recording a Pokemon episode, it just ends immediately. <laughs> but don't worry, uh, as uh, you uh, have hopefully noticed, I've been uploading Pokemon pretty regularly uh, recently, and uh, yeah, so you won't have uh, have long to, to wait until the, the, the next episode is up anyway. So yeah, thank you uh, for sticking with my Pokemon journey for all of this time, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the, the, the next episode, hopefully. Uh, there'll be a link in the description down to it, uh, yeah, as soon as it's online. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!